Hi guys! Um, I'm starting the vlog off in my bathtub, so like you're not seeing anything you're not supposed to be seeing, right? It's actually only 5 o'clock. I normally take my baths like a lot later if I do, but I just, I've been feeling like, you know that feeling where you're not sick yet, but you know something might be coming so i'm trying to take like preventative measures and i've been chilly too because i came back from seattle just a few days ago and so i don't know if i like got something maybe from I'm, i don't have anything yet i'm just like feeling like a little bit a little bit inflammation but like i feel like i can i can prevent it you know so i'm taking a hot bath right now because that's just what sounded good to me i've been like cold and stuff so um i'm doing that and for today's hot tub snack we're having some uh, hot and spicy veggie chips a little serving of that alongside with some water i've been drinking tons and tons of water lately especially when i got back i found that i wasn't drinking much water while i was there so it's good to be back home and you know just back in my reg reg regime regime i don't know what they call it also i do love always talking to you guys about like what i'm oh what is this the good nurse i was logging in netflix and i was like oh snap that kind of looks good but i love to update you guys on like what i'm watching and like what you guys are watching if you're watching the same thing but I'm currently watching Love is Blind season three. I really do love this show. I don't know, some people have said they like it a lot better than season two. Um, and then somebody else was like, the producers from season three are the same ones from season one. So if people didn't like season two, it could have something to do with the producers being switched in that season. But I do love the show. I love love too, you know? So that's kind of what I'm watching. If you guys are watching, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. What couples are your favorite? What couples are a no-no? I'm curious. I'm nosy. Usually go away too much pride. But for you, I'll put it aside. Cause I can't see you with nobody else. So, right. So Preston is making dinner tonight. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys. Because people do ask me, they're like, does Preston ever cook? So he does cook, but only when I ask him to. Because usually I do, I do love cooking, but like sometimes I feel like especially like anything seafood, fish, lamb chops, or breakfast foods, most of the time I'll just have like Preston do it because he does a pretty, you do, I guess. I guess I'm printing our job. So, <laughs> so just show you guys, Preston's making us dinner tonight. We're having salmon and I think I'm going to make Brussels sprouts for myself because... I've been loving so it. I mean, do you want them? I feel like you don't really Only like Brussels sprouts. Not if they're nasty. I okay, I'll make. I guess I'll make them good. My face is so red from my bath. I don't. I don't know why, but I'm still hot from it. But yeah, so I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts real quick and have that as a side. So I help him out, but he does cook, so it helps me out. But only when I, I have to ask him to. Like he. He won't just go and like grab the salmon and cook it. I'll have to be like, can you make the salmon tonight? And then he'll be like. <sighs> is that not right? Is that not right? <laughs> no, no, it's more like, come on. <laughs> and I think you do season them pretty well, so. Well, here's the thing. Like, the stuff I cook is always better. No, it's <laughs> not. No, my, it's not. My salmon is better than yours. My lamb is definitely better than yours. <laughs> That's the reason you always make me do it, is it not? I guess. Because you, you, yeah, that's true. He does a good job when making them. Um, so I guess that's true. You, do, you like to do like extra stuff. Yeah, you be doing like. I be doing I a lot. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> it's still good though. Preston just does it a little bit like better. I don't like to do stuff where I have to like mix and make it from scratch and ground this up. But that's why you have an amazing wife to do that for you. When you exactly. don't feel like do that. Because if you weren't doing it, you would have got left. Oh my Get gosh. To the <laughs> anyway, that's not true. Tell them that's not true because somebody's going to cancel you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's make these Brussels sprouts. Because I can't see you with nobody else. It would eat me up alive. Yeah. It would eat me up. We're about to go on 
on a quick hike with my friend Tia. We're gonna bring Hazel along and then she's bringing her male dog Brady along. They've met once, um, but I hope it'll go well. So we're gonna go like on a little hike with them. Hi Tia! <laughs> <laughs> This is Tia, her dog Brady, and then Hazel Baby, and she's doing really well. You remember Brady? <laughs> Tia said, you guys like this stuff? She's done. <laughs> A good 30 seconds in. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with the two dogs. Uh, well, Hazel just wants to stay on my hip and Brady wants to move forward. So <laughs> it's a conflict of interest here. Hi, Brady. It's also Hazel's and Brady's first hike. How's you guys' first hike, huh, Brady? How's Tia? <laughs> Hazel, how are you, baby? You having fun? Yes. Okay, we're gonna finish it. We made it to the top. Well, almost. Well, kind of. The top is a little bit more further back. But we did pretty, pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah. Mo, look at this. Look at this beautiful stack of new clothes that I recently got from um, Urban, um, including this, which you guys might have already have seen me wear. Like I've been wearing this so much. But I thought I'd show you guys a little haul um, because I got some really cute things that I'm excited to wear for like the fall, winter time. Lots of tops and lots of pants. Everything that I'm showing you guys, I will have linked below along with the size that I'm specifically wearing. I don't understand sometimes when people do hauls and then they don't put the size they're wearing because sometimes I'm like, if you just put the size you wore, it could help me also figure out like my size or what would look good on me and my body. And so I will have everything linked with my size because there's certain things that I have to size up on, size down on, um, just because the sizes were a little bit up and down. I was like reading the reviews, but whatever I'm wearing, I will have that below as well. Just so you guys can know, you know, like it'll help, it'll help the sister out. So starting off, I'm so obsessed with this. I've been wearing this so much. We have this like multi-color um, sweater. It's a little bit cropped, but it's also longer in the back of it. I'm obsessed with the color, but also I can wear this like three different ways. So I can wear it like this, where the buttons are just kind of out, showing the neck a little bit. Or you can button it up and have like this kind of look where it's just like the collars. Or you can even button this all the way up and make it like a turtleneck if you're like extra cold. Like I love that. This is so versatile. Like it's so great. I love it. Also, I got a really nice pair of cargo pants that I've been wanting. They're a really good length for me because I'm 5'5". Five five. They have pockets on both sides of the cargo pants. But my favorite thing about these pants is the waistband because it's like stretchy and it kind of just sits on you and like it gives my back like a little bit of shape like the way it sits on me and they're so comfortable. I love them. I love them so much. Okay, so I've still got this sweater which I love so much. I just love the color of it. I love that the sleeves are a little bit longer and it has like this bagginess on the sleeve which I like because it's not super, it's not like, like, it's so comfortable. It's not like tight around the arms, you know? It's like loose, the color's cute. I love, even with the, the brown pants. Oh. Okay, so I got this black ribbed tank. I actually already owned this before and when I moved to the new house, I lost it, I don't know where it went. So I was like, your girl's gotta get it again because these are my favorite, favorite, favorite like tank tops, ribbed tank tops. I have a few of them. They're extremely comfortable, really good quality. They have a little bit of a neckline and I love that they're like thicker up here. Cause like you can obviously see a little bit, but I'm wearing like a whole sports bra and I'm still able to wear this. So obsessed with these tank tops. They have them in so many colors. And I got a pair of jeans, a pair of wide legged. Let me bring the camera. Let me bring the camera down a little bit. A pair of wide legged jeans. What do you guys think? I really like them. They're not super tight. They kind of give me some body. They are more wide-legged than I'm used to normally. I do like just straight pants or more baggy, but they're different. I just want something different, and I really, really like it. They are definitely high-waisted, like for sure. I'm 5'5", five five and I wish it was like a little bit shorter, but they still look, look fine, and I do love them, so. <laughs> Yeah. This is my favorite flannel hobby ever. And I was debating on getting it because the reviews were like, no, it's too, like some of them would say it was like too wide and like whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. I freaking 
love it. It is the softest flannel I have ever owned. Like truly, you're gonna touch this and be like, oh, it's like smooth. It's a soft, really good material. If you're somebody that loves things that are longer in the back and shorter in the front, this is for you. Like sometimes if you just want something to like cover your butt, like sometimes we're wearing leggings or whatever. I like wearing leggings with a flannel and I want it to cover my butt. This is gonna cover your butt. It's like the perfect, perfect flannel for that if that's you. It has pockets on both sides, hello. And it looks good like open or closed. Like, and it's a cute color. Like, I love it. Okay, I'm so obsessed. This, okay, I know it's like black on black on black, but I'm, it's, okay, this thing I've been wearing like every single day, so it's like a little bit dirty, but it's been like my go-to jacket. I take everywhere with me. So this jacket is like a two-way zipper situation, so you can wear it so many different ways. Obviously, I can just wear this open. Obviously, I can bring this all the way up, and it's also kind of like a turtle, like collar neck there, which I love. If, like, if you're out with this and you like get cold, you know, you can do different things. I can bring it down bring this zipper up, have it open, like have them meet in the middle like that. Or I can just obviously wear it closed all the way down and like have a little bit up or like just full on like, 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 you know, it's just, I love this thing. They have like a few colors. So, oh, your girl's definitely gonna get another color of this. And then the pants, like Y2K, I am coming for you. I'm obsessed with these pants. High waisted, they fit really, really snug on me. They're, you know, they have pockets. It's just like the whole cargo. YTK, obsessed. Okay, lastly, I just, I've been wanting a jacket like this and Urban had it, so I got it and I love it. I mean, who is she? Who is she with this jacket? Like, I don't know, it's not even on yet. I'm just like, really hot, wow, okay, you put it on. Ugh. It's just so beautiful. I was like, I just, I don't have anything like this. Oh, I love it. It is all buttoned, so there's no zip or anything, but you can obviously like wear it out. You can like close it up or like this, or like I just had it like kind of like over the shoulder. <sighs> I don't know, I'm ready. If you see the pics on Instagram with this jacket, you guys already know where it's from. Here's the back. You like it like that. I love it. And that's my haul. I just love everything I got. I hope you guys liked it as well. Again, I'll have everything linked below. Um, I'm obsessed with like everything. Everything. Everything I'm obsessed with. Hello, 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 guys. So it's been a few days. I thought I was going to get better. I got so much worse. I had a really bad cold. Obviously, you guys can probably hear from my voice. Um, and I'm trying to hide like this right here because I've been like nonstop blowing my nose and it's just like all red and crusty and it's just in it. It's not cute, um, but we're gonna make some chicken tortilla soup tonight, which I'm so excited. Oh, also, I, I'm gonna show you because I can't hold it in, but I went to Target and I got some Christmas decor. I got this and I got this because it lights up. I'm like, you know me. If it lights up, I'm in sister, okay? This one also, I was like, oh, that's pretty. You know, I kind of see these kind of trees every year, but same thing, lights up. Like, look at this, bam. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to decorate for Christmas. It's November 2nd today, and I told Preston, like, let's put the tree up. And he's like, Donya. I was like, no, but let's put the tree up. He's like, Donya, no. I was like, well, let's put the tree up. So we compromised. I might do, like, November 13th. I told him November 13th. But I've been really craving some tortilla soup, so we're going to do it. I haven't made it in a long time. It's really just, like, a one-pot type of recipe. It's super quick. Very delicious. We're going to top it off with some avocado and tortilla chips. And then we're gonna watch Love is Blind. They've released new episodes today. So, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Let's get to it. I'm so hungry. Hello, guys. This is like everything I could possibly want right now and more. Oh my gosh. Mm. Hazel, girl, if you don't get down, 
<laughs> you don't get down. This is it. If you want to make chicken tortilla soup, go check the link below. This is not sponsored. I just love this recipe and how I personally make it. But you can really do whatever you want. But it's so easy, so good. It's like one pot. Like I said, one pot recipe, but like for real. We're gonna go watch Love is Blind now. A new episode of Love is Blind, season three. <sighs> this is crazy. It's just getting crazy. Such a